So I'm here with um, another poem of Dr. Lama Muhammad Iqbal. Uh, it's a beautiful poem. It has a very strong message in it. And uh, um, I'm not sure if I, if I will be able to do justice uh, with this poem. But uh, let me, let's, uh, we'll try. Uh, so the, the poem goes like, Punjab ke dehka se. So to the Punjab's farmer. Okay, so Iqbal is basically talking to a farmer from Punjab. Punjab is a region uh, between India and Pakistan. Uh, it's divided between India and Pakistan. It's a, it's a beautiful province, um, uh, green, fertile, rivers. It has rivers, uh, crops, uh, wheat, rice, you know. It has rich history, language, music, culture, everything. Uh, but then there are some problems in that society which Iqbal realized and we all realized at some point. Uh, we, some of us tend to, tend to ignore those but Iqbal was a philosopher so you know he, he's, uh, he used to see things around him and try to try to understand like you know the, the, the purpose behind those. Yeah, so one of the problems that we have in that region is caste system. You know, it's a, it's a big issue there to some. Uh, so, so caste system is that where uh, when a child is born, you know, he's, uh, he's given a tag. You know, he's given a tag that he belongs to this particular caste. And that tag comes from the profession that his forefathers you know they used to have like if someone is born into a farmer's family like you know or a crop grower or vegetable grower so they will remain vegetable grower for centuries and centuries you know so that's his cost that's the tag that comes with his birth you know a, a shoemaker's son will be shoemaker and so on you know so there's so there are these classes you know the the workforce and then there are elite castes, you know, the upper castes. So, so there is a problem with this system, you know, and Iqbal realized that problem and he wants to talk about it, but he wants to talk to the farmer directly, you know, and uh, he wants to, to poke, actually, he wants to, he's poking to his soul. He wants to let him know something. So what is that? Bata kya teri zindagi ka hai raaz? So the first question is right on target. Tell me what is the purpose of your life? Okay. So at some point, you know, we all in our lives, you know, at some point we all ask this question to ourselves. Like, what's, what's the purpose of my life? So, but then if you grip a society into caste system, you know, then some of those the lower caste ones they don't get time in their life to actually realize this question okay they never get time they are so consumed in their lives in serving others that they don't get time to think these kind of questions okay they don't arise in them so somebody has to poke you know these questions into their minds so bata kya teri zindagi ka hai tell me what's the purpose of your life hazaron baras se hadu khak baz you have been digging you have been plowing you have been growing this soil from thousands and thousands of years and you know have you ever realized you know what what is the purpose of your life isi khak mein dab gayi teri aag you have burned your soul the uh, the fire that you have inside actually you burned that you have given everything, you have given your energies, you have given your blood, you have given everything to the soil, you dig it, you grow crops, you know, and that's what you do. You are made to do that, you know, because you were born into a worker's class, so you have to just keep doing it, you know. But, Sahar ki azaan ho gayi ab jag. So, Iqbal tells him that don't you don't you listen to that voice that is coming from inside you it's like that morning prayer you know the morning prayer sound that comes uh, you know so he says that 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 sound is coming from your inside inside you and it's asking you to awake okay to, to rise okay to rise up 
to awake to realize you know that what have you been doing like you have been consumed you have been consumed by this society doing work for others okay from thousands of years and without realizing your your true self your true potential zameen mein hai go khakiyon ki barat nahi is andhere mein aap hai hayat so iqbal says that yes there is you know there is life for others you know there is life for others whom you feed you know with your hard work and with your labor and all that so there is life in it for others you know the work that the kind of work that you do but deep under this soil the punjab soil you know under the darkness of that punjab soil that you know to the soil that you gave your blood and your the inner fire and energy and everything deep under that soil there is no abe hayat for you you know have haven't you realized it yet it's been thousands and thousands of years you know hundreds centuries old you have been doing the same and same but there is no abe hayat for you there is no life giving water for you your condition has not changed you have been doing the same thing again and again okay for somebody else so zamane mein jhoota hai iska nagin jo apni khudi ko parakhta nahi kind of tough but let me let me try to explain zamane mein jhoota hai iska nagin jo apni khudi ko parakhta nahi my words your your fun or your efforts will not be realized your fun will not be acknowledged until and unless jo apni khudi ko parakhta nahi until and unless you realize your true self you know until you realize your true self until you realize the purpose of your own life you know what benefit are you getting from being consumed in this you know in this society you know in this in this setup uh, you're you're gripped in this setup you are made a worker from centuries and centuries so but whatever you do you feed everybody you do all the work you do all the all the jobs you know the noble jobs but still your your fun will not be your you know your your uh, efforts will not be recognized okay they are not recognized you know that because you haven't realized your true self you haven't understood your your own purpose yet okay so then here comes the 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 ikbal's you know advice the sound advice which he gave like 100 years back people have been giving all punjabi saints poets of that region they have been telling punjabis the same thing again and again and here is what ikbal has to say butane shaub o qabail ko tod break all these idols of tribes and of castes you have to break them and he's talking to the farmer to the workforce he's asking them to break these idols you know the ones that they have built inside the ones they are you know they are serving to those idols to the to the upper castes you know you have to break free you have to break these idols of caste system uh rasume kohan ke salasal ko tor and break free the shackles of you know the old the customs you know this this the tag that comes with your birth you have to remove that tag you know if you remove that tag that's when you are going to realize your true potential that's when you are going to get the you know you will listen to that voice that comes from inside you that aza ho gayi ab to jaag that you know it's your time has come you have to wake up you know and then he says that if you do this if you break all the idols of tribe and caste what are you going to get here is what you're going to get yahi deen e mohkam yahi fath e baab ki duniya mein tauheed ho be hijab yahi deen e mohkam this is your true victory 
this is your this will be your true religion we all follow religion okay this will be your true religion and this will be your true victory if you break free from those idols if you break all those shackles of slavery of you know caste you break free from those ke duniya mein tauhid ho be hijab when you will break free all these customs and all these you know shackles that's when you are going to realize the the oneness you know the ultimate oneness that is reality of this the universe okay we all are reaching to the same reality okay religion science everything we all are reaching to the same one reality all we need is to break free from these shackles when we break free from those shackles we will realize that reality then the last part of this share of this uh, poem is in persian uh, i don't understand but i can i, I can read translate and i can tell i can explain that baha ke badan dana ye dil fasha ke in dana dar dar das hasil nisha so casting is all clay in the hard seed so the promise of the harvest to come is that seed okay so igbal says that so like you know like in our bodies we have a part of our body a seed basically a sperm you know that when we grow you know that when we grow it makes sure that we uh, replicate you know we replicate we produce our own selves you know in the form of our children and we grow or we keep growing so that's our physical growth you know our physical body it goes to you know you know there is a system you know that we keep growing but then iqbal says that there there are seeds in your heart as well okay the seeds of truth okay the seeds that can help you realize your true potential take that seed take one seed out and grow it on to your own soil you know on to own body and then you are going to realize that the harvest that you are going to get out of it okay it will not only you know you will be doing the same thing you will be feeding same masses again you will be doing the same thing again but that harvest that you are going to get you know its reward will be it's it's far more you know and the reward will be that you will realize your true potential you will reach to the oneness you will expose this oneness to everybody else around you you know so that will be reward for you if you can break free from the shackles of the society then you are going to find yourself and then you are going to find purpose of your own life so i'm not sure if you could i could do uh you know justice to this but uh again you are you know you're most welcome to to correct me if there is something wrong with my understanding there if you want to add something there please uh, feel free uh this problem uh, the the casteism uh, i'm truly convinced that this is a this is this is keep this is not letting our society grow you know we haven't realized our true potential yet we have individuals in our societies that are that are inferior you know they 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 don't get to live the the life that they should live you know their children don't get to live the life that they they should give they don't realize to their true potential so we have to break free from these old age really old age customs of uh, tribalism and casteism okay thank you very much bye bye